welcome to another edition of Got Gameplay. It is our YouTube channel. Normally, we are a radio show. I am one of the hosts of Got Game on the Sportsnet Radio Network. Normally, along with Christine Chubb, Momin Kreshi, sometimes Intern Steve. If you want to hear their voices, if you want to know who they are, uh, on this same page, somewhere in the same area, you'll probably find the link to the Got Gameplay we did last week about the online heist in Grand Theft Auto V. And, yeah, everybody was there for that one. I'm just here for this one this week because we have a hard enough time finding enough time to get everybody together for the radio show. So, this week, I'm alone. But, hey, next week, who knows what will happen. That said, let's get into some Dragon Ball Z. Dragon, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. And this is Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And I'm not totally sure if it's like Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse. Uh, my understanding is just, it is just Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And it seems to be basically a greatest hits uh, compilation, if you will. They have done these for the last couple of years, these 3D, um, not just characters, but also 3D environment fighting games where they pit the heroes of the Dragon Ball universe, I think that's the thing, against the bad guys of the Dragon Ball universe. And this time... You are, believe it or not, time traveling. And you time travel to, let's say, the most important moments of the Dragon Ball cartoons. I believe just Dragon Ball Z. I'll be honest, not entirely sure exactly what all of this is. I did at some point, like everyone else, watch some Dragon Ball Z because there was a time when it was on television and there, there's like a billion Dragon Ball Z episodes, so, yeah, uh, I've seen a few like everyone else has, and all I really remember about them is that it pretty much takes four episodes to get, I don't know, 30 seconds worth of storytelling across, because everyone's screaming, ah, a lot, and then moving in really fast, like, I don't know, the background turns all disco-y and gets really fast and whatever. So I'll be honest, like this is a long way of me explaining that I'm not the biggest Dragon Ball Z guy. I know that right now this is like one of the first fights from the very first season. In fact, the first couple of episodes of Dragon Ball Z where uh, the main guy, Goku, um, which I also named my guy Goku because why not? He fought his brother when his brother who is an alien, came to Earth to pick a fight for some reason. Um, and that's, you know, okay. You watch the opening credits for this, and I'll be honest, like I said, didn't watch a lot of Dragon Ball Z, watched enough to kind of understand what's going on. You watch the opening credits for this, and it's all the biggest bad guys from the franchise, from the series. They all kind of show up in those opening credits, and then they start with this guy, this low-level dude, which, to be honest, okay, so this is the first round. This is the first level of the game. So you're going to start off small. But you can clearly tell that if they're going this deep, they just mean to go, like, here are all the bad guys in our universe, and we're going to transport you to all the locations one at a time, and then you sort of fight them. And the whole sort of the backstory for why you can fight them and be here in the story even though your character, which you create, this guy that I'm fighting as, who I named Goku, is a guy I created. There's a character creator in this game. The backstory for that is that, well, someone's messing with time, so Trunks there is basically a, a time cop now. He's the John claude Van Damme of the story. And, uh, yeah, the game starts off with him just collecting all seven Dragon Balls, which is like, isn't that the point of the story? Like, they always just need to get some Dragon Balls because they need some help somewhere. So he gets them all, and then he says, yeah, I want you to send me somebody who can help me fight and save the timeline. And then you go and create your character. The big dragon dude says, okay, wish granted. Warrior, come forth. And you create your character, and there you go. That's how you're introduced. And then you also become a time cop, and you go from fight to fight. Now, there are two types of fights. There are, like, the story campaign fights, 
And then something they call parallel missions, which you kind of just fight other guys in other situations. It's kind of a very loose premise that they're going with here to try and tie all these things together. But yeah, so um, I'm not going to really spoil a lot because, let's face it, these, this is the very beginning of the game. Um, so yeah, you you fight, uh, what's his name, Goku's brother, who's whatever. I mean, the guy was in the first three or four episodes and then was never in the show again. As far as I know, at least as much as I've watched. So whatever, you have that first fight. That's kind of like your training fight. They show you all this stuff. And then they're like, okay, now let's go do this parallel mission where you're basically fighting these little green guys who I'm assuming showed up later in the series. Uh, and then like the brother again, for some reason, I'm not totally sure why they just call it a parallel mission. I'm not totally sure why you have to beat him twice, but you do. And when you do this in these parallel missions, this is where you get all the stuff for your character. Cause you can like customize his clothing and give him like upgraded, um, like fighting moves and stuff like that. There's a lot of customization in this game. And most of those things actually come from these parallel fights. So you do the main fights for story for whatever the, the story is, which is kind of weird in this time traveling game. Cause you're pretty much just going to all the, bunch of places you already know about and here you go you are just fighting fights that you already know how they're going to turn out even i knew exactly how that fight was going to turn out that first fight was going to turn out uh we didn't see the cut scene but yeah if you haven't seen the show i guess i won't ruin it for you even though it's a billion years old and there's also a billion episodes so i really wouldn't suggest watching it because i mean <laughs> trust me it's it's not that Dragon Ball Z is bad. It's just that Dragon Ball Z, well, as I said, it, it took five episodes, five, 21 or so many episodes to get the point across the, of uh, something that could have been done in 30 seconds. So, yeah, um, definitely, they definitely need to work on pacing, and that pacing will definitely bug you. But, yeah, that fight, that first fight, it ended exactly the same way that the anime ended when they beat him in that. So, and then you basically you time traveled back to wherever, whatever year it was that you and Trunks are being time cops in. And he says, okay, come do this parallel mission that you're doing right now. And then you do this and then you can go and do another main uh, mission or you can go online if you want. I have not gone online yet because I figured that anyone who's been, who, anyone who's going to buy this game, to be honest, uh, probably is already an expert in playing online and would beat me badly, so I'm not totally sure exactly how that would help you guys out at all. But um, this is a story, so if you ever want to play, you know, Dragon Ball Z and you know disappear and then reappear behind somebody and smash them halfway across the world and watch them somersault out of it and stop midair, yeah, here you go, Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse, which they've done these games before. But this is just a greatest hits compilation, if you will. So that's Dragon Ball Xenoverse, if you're interested.